right? Shalom. Kaolal, Yabashim, Yahushai, Brakati, Yahweh, Brakati, Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which rule well. Peace and uh, blessings to all the Akim out there that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. This is GMS Joplin. We the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom called America. All right? AKA modern day Babylon, which is soon to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Because there's no way that this nation can stand. That's been built on bloodshed. There's no way, no way that this nation can stand that's been built on the, on the backs of Native Americans, Hispanics, and, and, and so-called Negroes, all right? The Most High, the, which the world recalls, uh, refers to as God, he's a black man. And his son, who the world ref refers to as Jesus Christ, he's also a black man, all right? What the world would call a so-called black man. And he died for only Israel, only these people on this side, which is the nation of Israel right here, all right? There's a lot of people waking up to the fact that the true Israelites are the ones that have uh, been in bondage in this country, that suffered curses that nobody else suffered, man, all right? So uh, let's get into scriptures, let's get into the charts. Judah, the so-called Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indians, Simeon, the Haitians, Levi, Salakia, Levi, the Haitians, Simeon, the Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala, and Panama, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the Cubans, Gag, the North American Indians, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Neftali, Argentina, and Chile, and Asher, Colombia, to Uruguay, and Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, all right? These are the people that the Most High said are his favorite people above all the earth, all right? And the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks about, all right? Anything that we come out, we come out to talk about the downfall of this kingdom called America that was put on the, the backs and the, uh, of the Native Americans, the Hispanics, and the Negroes. We are the best of all the earth. We're the best in all sports. We're the best in basketball, golf, tennis, all right? The Bible only came, the one that the, in the Bible that the world calls Jesus Christ, he only came for one group of people. He came for Israel, all right? He died on the cross. He didn't die on the cross for anybody else, all right? So anybody preaching out here that anybody can make it, that we all are saved, all right? is a liar, okay, according to the Bible, all right? There's only one group of people. All right, what's up, man? I see you got that, uh, the chain and that, what, you got a Bible around you, get your stuff? Man, come up up here, man. Let me holler at you for a second, bro. You doing all right? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You getting through pound, yeah, okay. Come on, let me uh, set this up. This is for, um, this is for the brothers, man, that go out and the people across the world. Why don't you stand over here, man, real quick? I'm Shemak, man. Let me ask you a question, man. You believe in, uh, I'll do this even better. You know who this man is right here? Since you got a Bible in your in your hand? That you know, dude? Yeah, yeah, you know who the man is? He's the nephew of a king from the 14th century. Okay, okay. Even more even more than that, man, I'm gonna hip you up onto it. His name is Cesare Bogger. Okay? Right, yeah, yeah. He's the son of uh, uh, Pope Alexander II of Rome. Mm -hmm. And he's a, a, a goddamn uh, homosexual. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was uh, having sex with Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. You ever heard of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they was uh, they painted, they painted, right? They painted, they painted the Sistine Chapel. They painted all kind of things. Anyway, the, the king, all right, commissioned those two to go ahead and put uh, put their son, his son, as the likeness of one of the world the the Bible calls uh, or the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, man, that's not the true image of the one the world calls Jesus Christ. Did you know that? That dude? Yeah, that's not the image of what he really looked no, like. No, I know. You knew that? Yeah. Let me show you a picture real quick, man. Let me show you. Let me show you exactly what what the Bible describes as who he is. 
See this image right here? Mm. This is according to Revelation chapter 1, verse 13 and on. This is what the Savior comes, and this is what he looked like. Did you know that? That's right. Hera wool. We can get to the scripture real quick, man. Cause that's right. Everything we do, man, we come out, we, we proof to the Bible, man, because it doesn't matter about my opinion. My opinion don't count, don't, don't matter. All right. Anybody can say anything. They say opinions, everybody got one. But let's get to Revelation real quick, man. Revelation chapter 1, verse 13. Uh, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed uh, with a garment down to the foot. That's what I got on. I got on a garment right here. This is what they wore in the ancient world, all right? All right. This is what the disciples and what in the world wore. All right. Okay? And it said, uh, and gird about the paps with a golden girdle. The reason why he had a golden girdle, you ever heard like a girl is kind of like for women in this in this time and age, but back then, right, right. men, when they went into battle, they used to wear one around they, 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 they waist so because they were stabbed. Exactly, man. You know, you know a little bit about, about something, man. I like that. And it's verse 14. He says, His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, with his eyes as a flame of fire. Now, we do know as, uh, what's your nationality, man? You, you, your, what's your father from? From America? Yeah. Okay, so you'd be right here on the chart as a Negro, so-called Negro, right? Which would be from the tribe of Judah. Because we see in the Bible, the Bible talks about a group of people, which are Israel, that the Lord cared more than he cared about anybody else on the face of Israel. So he said that he cared about Israel more than he cared about anybody else. And that's in the Bible. Again, my opinion, don't care. All right? So our, according to our people, typically, and you'll find it in some other these people on the side, too. But normally the Negro got curly hair like wolves. You ever see a sheep? That's where they get wool from. It's a wool texture. They have that type of texture, all right? So it says that it's, uh, his, he said his uh, eyes were as a flame of fire. The reason he said that is because it said the Lord, uh, the one the world called Jesus Christ, he drank wine. Matter of fact, one of his first uh, miracles that he did when his mother I was at a wedding said, hey, son, they ran out of wine. He said, I got you. Go fill up these basins, or these vases, rather. And they filled it out. Okay. So uh, he filled it out and he drank wine. So you know if you ever take a sip of uh, uh, wine, your eyes get red. Okay. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they were burnt in the fire. So brass is another word, is a derivative of the word bronze. And bronze also means brown. So brown is one thing. A lot of people say, well, this man, he looked brown. All right, this image. Nah, he don't look brown. All right, we look brown. You know, uh, black is the color of your shirt. Even though they call us all kinds of things. Colored, Negro, black. Black is just a byword. Something else that they just figure out to call us. African American's another one. Okay, but that's not us. But if you take anything, it says as if it was burnt, burned in a furnace. All right, so it's burning the furnace. You take anything and you burn it, you put it in the fire, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna turn black, right? So it's describing a very, very dark man, is what, that, is what, what it says. So that's how we know, not only history tells us that the Bible is very informative. The Bible tells us there was a man that the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, that he died, okay? That he was here. Actual, actual history will say that, even though people don't believe in the Bible. Second, they believe in that image. It's windy out here. I'd have it all stretched out, but they believe in this image. This is a faggot, all right? This dude wasn't, he wasn't anything. So that's not anybody that, that died for me. Second of all, he came and he said he died for Israel. Do you, ever, do you believe that? Did you know anything about that? You didn't know that? All right. He said he loved the world that he gave his only begotten son about all sin. All right, all he right. He said it was trying. Yeah, yeah, he, matter of fact, he did say he it. He did? Yeah, matter of fact, he did. We can get to the Bible. Like yeah. I said, opinions mean, that, you know, anybody can say something. I Let's get to it. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, okay, all right. Hey, listen, that's why I'm out here, brother. I'm out here. I put prayers up that, you know, whenever people come out here, we out here to wake up wake up the world and let them know exactly what's going on because we don't have that much time. The one that the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, he was, first of all, they lied to us and they said, okay, boom, he, uh, he, he, he looked like that. That's not the image, what he looked like. Second of all, he, they broke down the scriptures and they said, for God so loved the world. Did you know that in the Bible, there's over seven different worlds? There's Acumene, there's Cosmos, there's Eon. When you look up the world world, it ain't just world, it actually, you have to go into the meanings of things. 
See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't just read it and be like, you can't read this book from front to cover and be like, Z -Z 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 hey, I got it. Because that's not going to do it for you. The Bible says line upon line, piece up upon piece up, here a little, there a little. All right? So the one, guess what the world, that world in John 3, 16, guess what, guess what that was? John 3, 16? Yeah, yeah. You said for God so loved the world. Yeah. Guess, guess which world that was? Which one? Cosmos. Let me read what Cosmos is. We'll go to the dictionary because we got to, everything you got to do, you got to find an understanding of words or else you can't understand this thing. And I'm going to look it up right here, which is a good thing here. You got a little smartphone. Everybody usually got this. A lot of people, you know, they, they, they sell them everywhere. All right, Cosmos. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go to this, this thing here and I'll show you here. We'll go to Bible. We'll go to John 3.16. Always searching for stuff. But we need something, man. We, we need we the first ones out here that uh that have the roughest time, man, in this world. We the last hired and the first fired. We're the ones that's that's on welfare. We're the ones that don't have proper uh, unemployment rates out on this country is out of out of control. The Native Americans they stick and what do they do? They put them on uh, reservations. They say, hey man, you you have uh, you can have this land. We we'll give this back to you. But what? You, if you ever went to a reservation that you so-called like, it's terrible. They got all these rules and yeah. regulations for even went on there. You you it. get in some serious trouble if you ever do some crime or anything happen to you on a on a so-called reservation, man, you're doing federal time. Yeah. Yo, yeah, it's no joke. Okay, here's John 3.16. And I'm gonna click on it here too. The world, the word world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. All right, I'm, I'm gonna click on this world here. It's called Cosmos. Let me show you right here. See, for God so loved the world. Then we go run here. It says Cosmos. And that's Greek, number 2889. You gotta go to the meetings of the world. It's a Bible app. All right, this is so called uh, white man, you know, put this Bible up app, app here. All right. So it says, Cosmos. Let me make sure you understand right here. Cosmos. It says, an ornament. Okay, let's go here. An appointed, a harmonious arrangement or constitution, order, a government. An ornament, decoration, adornment. The arrangement of the stars or heavenly hosts. The world, the universe, the circle of the earth, the earth. The inhabitants of the earth, the men of the human family. So, so wait a moment. So now it didn't say the whole earth. It says an inhabitants or an arrangement, a group of people. Now let's let's look up the word. Let's look at world in another way. Let's go to world because that's important. When people say, well, see, it says this. It says world. Not so fast. We got to look at world and see the other mean, meanings of world. All right. See if God so loved the world. Let's go to another scripture. And the world is, let's go to Eon. Eon in the scripture. Let's go to this. This is important to break down the scriptures properly because you know you're responsible if you, if you ever get this Bible and you start getting this Bible and start breaking it down. You break it down and break it. The most high is going to be respons responsible for every idle word. All right. This is uh, this is uh huh. Y'all stay down here. Y'all stay down here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you do. I just been seeing you on stuff. I didn't know. Oh, you been seeing me on stuff? Yeah. Like what? Like all kinds of stuff. I'm over right here. All right. <laughs> so anyway, so let's get to the world. The ends of uh, Hebrews. Let's see uh, Hebrews nine and twenty six. Let's get to that. That's important. So that way you know. The different meanings of world. Because that's important. We How you doing? I'm good. What are y'all out here doing? Oh, man, I'm out here preaching this word, letting people know that uh, that this place is going to uh, end up in uh, some severe judgment. You believe in the Bible? 